Or still token health marches the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has warned against the resurfacing of the polio virus if adequate preventive measures are not taken. Experts are attributing this to the hesitancy by the public in the acceptance of the COVID-19 vaccine, which might have played a major role in the skepticism displayed by Nigerians on routine immunization acceptance. Plus, TV Africa's correspondent Destiny Momo reports. Nigeria was certified polio-free in August 2019, which made her the last country in Africa to achieve a poliomyelitis-free milestone in August 2020, making the continent polio-free after many years of battling the disease. Our medical practitioner Fred Unugokai, like some other experts, speak of the need for effective surveillance when a disease is thought to have been eradicated. The only challenge we're having is most times in a pandemic as like COVID, other diseases tend to suffer. And we don't want to lose the gains we have gotten uh, over polio. This is why we need to keep emphasizing. During the era of um, polio, the campaign was massive. A large number of children, within a week, you could have about 60 million children being vaccinated. But because what we are seeing right now, the, the advent of um, COVID-19 vaccine, people don't want to have conversations about a vaccine anymore. We notice that some certain areas, I think certain geopolitical zones are not keen on taking vaccines. And when this happens, it makes them predisposed to developing uh, polio. But yeah. to prevent polio itself now, I think the best bet is for people to be educated on the benefits of having the vaccine. Could it be that we celebrated too early? Or could the fear of the reimagines of wild polio virus be as a result of the vaccine hesitancy evoked by COVID-19? Parents should be told that, please, we beg you, take your children that are qualified to be vaccinated to any center, primary health care centers or vaccination centers where they should be vaccinated. Because if you start emphasizing again, this is what to look out for, this is what to look out for. What if it doesn't present through that um, um, form? Polio is quite not, not a very happy condition because it's basically called flaccid paralysis. Although people react differently to the COVID vaccine, Experts still counsel on the need for the acceptance of COVID vaccine by all. The benefits of having the vaccine far outweigh the risks because the conditions that could arise when the person gets COVID-19, a lot of side effects come with having COVID-19, including deaths. If you can give your child the polio vaccine, then what stops you from giving your child the COVID-19 vaccine? The consensus here is that the spate of vaccine hesitancy has increased, stressing the need for increased vaccination for newborn and children still under the age of routine immunization. Destiny Mama for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.